In this video, I'm opening an entire case of the new set, Rage of the Abyss. Searching for that heart of the blue eyes. What's up, everybody? We are back with another case opening. This is the first time I've opened a case of Rage of the Abyss. I'm super excited because Heart of the Blue Eyes is a quarter century secret rare in here. Here's the artwork of it. You guys can see it on screen. It is a beautiful looking Blue Eyes card. And Heart of the Blue Eyes is a really cool idea because Heart of the Cards mixed with Blue Eyes all in one card. So I'm really excited for that. Shout out to Frontline Games for providing me a case to open up for them. None of these will be for sale because they are Frontline Games cards. So they will be for sale at my local store. If you guys want to check out Frontline Games, you guys can go do that there in Clarksville, Tennessee. And I will be giving away a booster box of this set. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let me know down below your favorite card from the set. I think a lot of you guys will pick Heart of the Blue Eyes. A lot of you guys will pick the Malarkey Fualos or, you know, whatever he's called. So let's get to it. We want to pull that card because it's a $128 secret rare right now this is coming out on friday but we recorded it before friday and got it edited and everything so the prices will be pre-release prices not the current prices so keep it keep that in mind so if you see a big price you can go to tcg player and check it yourself see what it's kind of looking like now but that's going to be a big card either way that's one of the best cards in the set over 100 right now at the time of recording we are not doing pack trick because we have a lot of packs to open today so we have a primate drill beam and also if you guys are excited you know you're enjoying this set we're going to be opening more of this tomorrow on saturday and we will be uh potentially looking for that so we're going to look for that spirit of the blue eyes we're going to try to pull it in one stream and hopefully we won't have another major situation where it takes forever so that will be on youtube guys so i want to see you guys there make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are excited for that i'm excited as well i got to get ready you know it, you guys keep subscribing we'll keep getting ready for more specials like we did with the 300k week or the 250k week we're working on 350 300k we'll see what we do for that the 250k week was pretty awesome i really enjoyed doing multiple videos to celebrate that was really fun and I thought we got a nice variety out there of different duels, different openings, like OCG, TCG, opening every pack. If you guys missed the every pack opening, don't forget about it, guys. We opened every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! History. Go check it out. It was a few days ago at this point. I guess almost a week ago. So go check that out if you guys missed it. Don't forget to check out the auction series return, the video with Rhyme. The OCG opening was particularly awesome. That was Legendary Six Samurai. And, of course, the video where we had our best pull of the entire week. So go make sure you guys go check that one out, the 50 pack opening one. Yeah, we did we did pretty good. We did pretty good overall. It was a pretty amazing week. I thought it went super well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Seems like you guys did. And it's really cool because now we can top right into a new set. So that's like another really exciting thing that we get to do is new sets. So it's like back to back weeks have been really amazing. I'm super pumped, super pumped to keep it going. I got to get this screen protector off. I can barely see what I'm opening. It's kind of a it's kind of a problem. Okay, super rare. It's really hard to tell like when they're ultra rares with this stupid screen thing, but I don't want to waste 50 bucks. You know, I spent 50 bucks to buy the screen protector and now I'm like, ah, I kind of locked in primate lordly load. A lordly load. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. That is definitely a card name. That's for sure. Case opening. I don't think we've done... Did we skip one of these on Infinite Forbidden? I feel like maybe on Infinite Forbidden we didn't do a case opening. But we are doing it today. We're doing a case opening. We'll see how it turns out. Let me know. Do you guys like the case openings or not? I had noticed the last few of them weren't doing that great. It seems like you guys weren't really watching like the case opening videos. Um, so that's why we. I don't think we did one for Infinite Forbidden. But this time I decided to go back to it and see what you guys are thinking you know what do you guys think about them and if you know if you guys don't really care for the the case opening videos you know or if you don't like them then just let me know in the comments and i won't continue to do them we'll do something else uh i think yesterday's video i try to try to do something fun you know we like three different recent sets i thought that turned out pretty pretty good so hopefully you guys liked that as well but always let me know you know you don't have to be mean or anything. You can just say, not a huge fan of these. You know, my favorite, I like this kind of video. You know, if you want to suggest something and I will take that into account because I want you guys to have videos that you like. But it feels like some people do like a lot, like, like really like the case videos. But then, you know, it's hard to base something off of views because sometimes views are an indicator of what you like and sometimes they're not. So it's, you got to kind of take both things into account, like comments how many people watched it, all that different stuff. Maybe the situation. Okay, we got the uh, giant Mimi Ghoul. I think that's actually like, you know, 12 bucks from what I saw before. Okay, this is like a $13 car. That's actually pretty solid, but you know what? You never know what'll happen once you get to the, uh, once you get to the, whatchamacallit, the, the release date, then everybody's listing. You never know, it might go way down. All right, 
We need the little Pequeno Moth luck. Pequeno Moth sent us a little Mimi or Malarkey Fualos. The Mulch Mulch Army. Somehow I've never heard anyone say that out loud. So we're going with we're going with Malarkey. It sounds fun. Okay, we have the Okay, Deception of the Sinful Spoils. This is a big one. This is a $48 card at the moment. So that's the number two secret in the set. Number one is Malarkey, obviously, $128. Uh, Sinful Spoils, 48. Dominus Impulse, 39.97. So basically 40 bucks. And there's our first one. A $128 secret rare. Oh my goodness. Like, we gotta sleep these up immediately. Yeah, that's gonna pay for like two boxes. That's insane. So uh, I'm guessing these are short printed. We don't actually know yet. We'll see how many we pull out of this case. I'm guessing like two to three is our, is our is our number. If we get any more than that, I mean, we are going crazy. So it's going to be interesting to see like what the return on these are. Because if you get like three of those and three of the sinful spoils, that's 400, $550. Like that's almost your entire case without QCRs. So this could be like a crazy set for actually like return. But if it's too easy to pull them, the prices will go down and it'll average out. But Maybe early on, we might actually be able to open something and like make a little bit of money for once. So that'd be pretty nice. I mean, $128 for one card. <laughs> yeah, and obviously if you pull the QCR version, which is almost 500 bucks, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna, no matter what you pull, you're gonna be over your case price probably. That is pretty insane, a $128 card. So we got our first one, very exciting. Very exciting to pull that card. I mean, what in the world? That card's gotta be insane. It looks, so there was already that one version of this card. There's the rescue uh, hedgehog, hedgehog, not rescue hamster. Is rescue hamster a card? I feel like it is. But I already, we already had one of these malarkey guys and he was like 50 bucks. He was pretty expensive. The artwork was almost the same, I feel like. Maybe it's a little different. We're gonna pop them up on the screen, the two cards. And then maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're not that close. Maybe it's just the blue coloring makes them look the same, but they seem similar. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay, we're off to a good start with this case. Unfortunately, for me, this is not my case, but uh, Frontline Games, who we always seem to have good luck for, except the time we got a two QCR case, that was kind of brutal, but they they seem to always pull really well, which I've, I've already said this many times, but when they gave me their two Terminal Revenge cases, we ended up having a two QCR case. It did have Spirit of You Belt QCR, which was pretty good, but they also pulled Mage out of the other two cases. So they gave me the wrong case that day. But they always have some nice cases, and it seems like, wow, I mean, two of those so far. I mean, if you get one more, that's like a great case. I mean, that's $400 worth of those cards, which is just ridiculous. That, I mean, that is just crazy how much for th a play set, 400 bucks. I imagine people are not happy about that. Like, when it comes to the meta, you're like, oh, yeah, I need my uh, Molkarmi, Molcharmi, Fawalos play set. Oh, oh, it's only $400 for three cards? <laughs> no big deal. That's fine. Yeah, 400 bucks. So then, you you know, you have 37 other cards in your deck, too. Uh, so that's not going to be cheap. And then you got your extra deck. I mean, wow, that deck's going to be pricey. I mean, that's probably, I mean, I would just guess, what, a 1.5 to 2K deck to play whatever that is. I don't even know. Like, do you play the other the other guy that we were talking about earlier that looks similar to him? Because he was like 50 bucks, I thought. Maybe he's down. I actually think he might have gotten down to like 30. But that's still 90 for the playset of those if you're playing a playset. So that starts adding up quick. And if you're a madman... You're buying the QCRs. I mean, you got a $1,500 playset right there. That is pretty insane. I'm guessing that was clumping, so we're probably not going to pull a ton more of those. But if we do, I wouldn't be upset. I would not be upset at all. Splitting Planarian. Okay. We have yet to pull the Heart of the Blue Eyes, which is a secret rare as well. That would be pretty exciting. I mean, we're probably going to get it. I mean, it's a secret rare. It's not like it's Magia, you know? Magia where it didn't have a low rarity printing. This one does, so... It should be pretty easy. I haven't actually read the Spirit of the Blue Eyes yet, so if we pull it, I will look at it. Fiendsmith got a link. Interesting. I know they're already pretty strong. Come on, give us something good. Red Eyes. Oh, Red Eyes. Black Full Metal Dragon. Okay, is he like with the Metal Zoa archetype? Let's see. Cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summon with max Metal Morph. So it is. That was activated by tributing a level 5 or higher dragon monster. You can reveal this card in your hand. Set one Metal Morph trap from your deck. And if you do, shuffle it into the deck. Your opponent activates a card or effect. Quick effect. You can negate the activation card or effect. Okay. Then you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of one attack position monster your opponent controls. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit of a weird summoning condition. I don't, I, I didn't, I haven't actually read Max Metal Morph to see how hard that is to resolve, but you got to tribute to level five. Bring that guy out. He does have a, an Omni Negate on him, though. Or that said an effect. So maybe just a monster to negate. I, I got to remember. What did he say? Did it say? Card or effect. 
So that sounds like an Omni Negate. So it has an Omni Negate on it, which is pretty nice. And then you get to burn them. So if they have like a massive tower on their field and you negate something, you just inflict like 4K to them. That seems like that could come up a few times. So that's not a horrible card right there. Just a little bit weird to get out, which seems to be the case with a lot of old school cards, even though this is a new card, but you know, retrain of an old school card. I'm guessing that's not super pricey. <laughs> okay, uh, Rescue Hedgehog. Here we go. Let us pull. Mole Malarkey. Let's Malark it up. Uh-oh. Metal Zoa X. Okay, I, I really... That one just sounds fun to play. The Metal Zoa cards. Metal Zoa X. The Red Eyes card. I mean, that sounds exciting. We have the Surfacing Big Jaws. Okay. The Jaws are big. I think that was originally in Gen Force. Generation Force back in 2011. So that's a pretty old card. Metal Illusionists. Okay. Picanio, bring us a little, little more malarkey luck. No, no QCR so far. I gotta say that. Metal Illusionist. Man, I, the Metal Illusionist, I'm not gonna lie. This artwork is freaking cool. It feels like old Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, it is cool. That guy is creepy. He is, he's just weird. Wow. Okay, so, I mean, I'm not gonna... I know a lot of people don't aren't really a huge fan of this set, I think. Or not a lot, but I know some people are not a huge fan of this set. I don't know. I think I think all the... the uh, all just the, the retrains from the... What do you, what archetype is that called? The, you know, the Metal Zoa archetype. What, what what's the name of the archetype? I, I don't know. I'm, a, I'm a huge sucker for that. Uh, it seems really cool. It's probably not good at all. I would say it's almost definitely not good. But just the classic. I mean, everybody loved the uh, Forbidden Memories promos. Wait, not Forbidden Memories. The Falsebound Kingdom promos, which had Zoa, Metal Zoa, and Metal Morph. They were some of. They were like when I got back into it, people were always buying and selling those. It felt like they were always available because people were just, I mean, they, they would go instantly. People would post them on Instagram for sale and they would just be instantly sold because people were, they were so nostalgic for those cards and having like a full archetype around it and like super low rarity, it seems like, like supers and I guess the red eyes is an ultra and then most of it's like common, it's pretty cool. Curse Fire King, Doom Burst. Okay, yeah, I said Fire King wasn't a great archetype or, or the other earlier, but apparently it goes with uh, what? what? What's the, the big one right now? Fiendsmith or something, I don't know. Uh, I haven't actually played the meta in like two years, so and that was only on Master Duel, so I have no idea. Except when it comes to bands, then I know all. Okay, let's see what this is. Mimigul Fairy. Let's see if we can get a Heart of Blue Eyes, please, or a QCR. We still haven't pulled one of those yet. We have pulled one in a video, but not in this case. Should be. I mean, there should be three, right? Eh, unless you get unlucky and get two, which sucks. I hate when that happens. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen because I just feel really bad when I don't pull three for uh front line okay oh there we go heart of the blue eyes has finally been pulled this card is always treated as this is a millennium card okay control this card cannot switch because it's like grandpa yugi's card and i guess he's like the millennium archetype you can discard this card add one millennium onk from your deck to your hand you can only use this effect of heart of the blue eyes once per turn if this card's in your graveyard and you successfully activated millennium onk this duel and your opponent normal or special summons a monster that is level eight or higher or has 3,000 or more attack. You can send this monster to the graveyard. Send that monster to the graveyard if you do special summon this card. Oh, that's pretty cool. So he's not really a blue eyes card at all, which is kind of awesome. So basically you send him to the graveyard, add Millennium Onk, then you activate Millennium Onk. So for the rest of the duel, he becomes active in the graveyard. And then if he su then if your opponent summons anything that's level 8 or higher or has 3,000 or more attack, you just send it to the graveyard. And then you special summon this card. That's actually a sick effect. Like, I, I feel like that's a unique effect. I like it. I feel like the Millennium Archetype is, like, really cool. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember what exactly, because it's like Exodia is involved. You have the Millennium Onk, which is obviously a big card because, you know, like, everything has Millennium Onk in the text. You have to use it in some way. So, I mean, that, that deck sounds pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. The Grandpa Yugi deck, basically. It's so interesting because they have, like, they have Red Eyes and Blue Eyes cards that are not part of the Red Eyes or Blue Eyes archetype. It's very interesting. It's like, because the Red Eyes is more of the Metal Morph kind of archetype where it's going to, like, you know, you have to use the uh, Max Metal Morph or whatever it's called. And that one, you got to use the Millennium Onk and the Millennium cards to bring that out. So I kind of like where they're going with that. Because it's not just like, you know, the same Blue Eyes deck. They're just like forcing everything into. They're kind of making another branch of it. But it's still Blue Eyes, which is exciting. Seems like a smart idea. You know, more options for Blue Eyes. That usually works pretty well with casual players like me. Okay, we have the Mimi Gold Throne. Okay. Still no QCRs, though. 
Still no QCRs in this opening. So eventually we're going to hit one. And it's going to be the Malarkey Fawalos. Man, can we get some normal names these days? I mean, come on. We have a... Oh, I just super rex the special right into that surfacing big jaws still a lot of packs to be opened it feels like a lot of packs to be opened. 12 total boxes 288 packs we are opening for this video for a case opening can we pull a little bit okay mermail shadow squad can we pull something really amazing a primate roar what have we not pulled so far the mimi ghoul charm is actually the worst secret rare it seems like it's only like five dollars i feel like we pulled that in a video i don't remember if we pulled it today the Abyss Ryan, the Atlantean Spirit, I don't remember if we pulled that. Definitely not in this video, but maybe in another one. Um, we've pulled, have we pulled Dominus? We have not pulled, no, we did pull the Fire King, didn't we? That was the one I was saying wasn't that great, but it actually is. The Lakima, I think we've pulled every secret rare right now. Obviously, though, it's Deception, Sinful Spoils, Dominus, Impulse, and the Malarkey are the ones we want. Mimigul Throne again, okay. Wait, I just noticed that the big beef I had with that one case with the backwards... With the backwards, it's not the case with this case. The case with this case. It is not It is not happening with this case. So that might have been like a, was that like a mispackage or something? Because that was a different case we were opening the other day. That is so weird. I'm actually very happy though, because this would be a real pain in the butt to actually do this. <laughs> All these pack openings and I'd have to flip the cards over every, or flip, flip the pack over every time. So glad that that is not happening, but also kind of weird. Mermail Shadow Squad. Rage of the Abyss. Let's keep it going. We have the Azamina Super Rare. Can we get another Malarkey? I think that's the only secret rare we've gotten two of, which is pretty wild. Fire King Courtier uh, Okanix. Okay, $18 card, pretty solid. Pretty much, it seems like most of the secrets are pretty solid. There's only like three under 10 bucks, and then like the Blue Eyes is at 10. Giant Mimi Gold's at 13, and then it's like 20, 18, 40, 48, and then 128. Max Metamorph. Probably a few boxes in. Probably still quite a while to go. Quite a ways. Longer video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We've had a lot of longer videos recently. So hopefully you guys have liked those. And you've uh, enjoyed, you know, the longer content. There we go. We have uh, Flying Mary, the Wandering Ghost Ship. The Mary. It's like one piece. Pequeno. I can't open this back. What in the world? Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. That might be a good sign. No, it's not. Goblin Biker. Wasn't a good sign. It was nothing, actually. It was just a Goblin Biker Grand Breakout, which doesn't really doesn't really help us too much. The uh, Mimigul Slime. Can we get something big? Right now, it's a lot of super rares. A lot of supers. We pulled our big secrets right off the bat, and it seems like uh, it's not happening recently. Since then, it's been a little a little bit more chill. Another Mermail King and Neptibus. I haven't actually looked. Let's look at the Ultras real quick. All right, so it looks like the best Ultra is about seven dollars so it's not like it's not like a huge one in here that's the same ultra by the way um then there's a mimical thrones actually a good one six dollars and 32 cents she ends pretty good or oh, it's over six bucks there's a sinful spoils that's a great secret our second copy of that very nice so between the two the malarkey the two sinful spoils you're over 300 dollars in cards from just those four cards which is pretty wild another ghost ship there are they're really bad ultras yeah, there are like three ultras under a dollar right now. So when the set comes out, they're probably going to be like 20 cents. And then there are three over six, two over five. So there are some value in these ultra rares. Not a crazy amount. Sometimes we'll have a set where an ultra is like 40 bucks. And that's like really awesome uh, for uh, just like opening wise. It's not great for if you have to buy the card. But if you're opening packs to try to get some value back, it's really great to have a nice ultra in there. And sometimes if you get lucky, there could be a super rare. that's like over a dollar, but let me check that it looks like there are no super rares that are over a dollar they're all like 30 or less cents so nothing crazy there's that heart of the blue eyes beautiful secret rare that's number two of those starting to get two of every secret if there are only like 10 secrets i mean if they're, if they're not short printed are there only 10 secrets there are only 10 secrets in this set that's kind of nice because if you get 36 secrets a case you get 12 boxes you get two each no no 24 secrets a case then you're getting, what is that, 2.4? That's actually not that good. It's not as good. I was thinking that's good because didn't we have more than 10 secrets at some point? Maybe, I think it used to be eight. So that meant it was, you know, three per case. And now it's down to 2.4 because they added two more. Yeah, that's not that great, actually. That's not that great. 2.4, yeah, two to three. That's kind of the normal ratio. So nothing has changed there. So yeah, they don't they don't short print core sets. They just do, you know, have more, more cards. So kind of the same thing. 
So if you get lucky and you clump the right secrets, you can do well. Or if you get unlucky, you could. Oh, speaking of clumping the right secrets. Okay, 2.4. We beat the average. We have three. We have three of the Fawalos. That's a $400 play set we pulled. 400 bucks. Pretty nice, Frontline. Pretty nice. You guys are doing good on this. Pretty insane. And if we get a three uh, Sinful Spoils, that's 150 between the three of those. I mean, that's pretty insane. No Dominus Impulse, though. So we're not pulling the Dominus, which is number three. We have zero of those so far. But so far, the pull ratios are pretty amazing. Weird part is no QCR. I guess, I mean, there are still a lot of packs left, but we have not pulled a QCR yet. I don't want to speak it into existence, but there have been times where, you know, they just don't put the high rarity chase cards in there. Not often, but it does happen sometimes. Uh, and the Crimson Tear Secret Rare. That's our first time pulling that, I think. I think that's a $20 Secret Rare. It's pretty good. Now, can we get a Dominus Impulse as well? That'd be really great. We're really, if we get four, four of the big guy, I mean, that would be, that would be crazy. I mean, that that's about as good as you can ask for. Let's see. We have the Rescue Hedgehog. Making a dent in these packs, but still a lot to go. Goblin Biker Squad. The Biker. Who's a goblin? Got the, oh, what is this? Hail the Varg Varog? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. We've got the Azamina. Super rare. What else can we do? Legendary Six Samurai. Anishi. So that's not the bit. The better one is the ultra rare. Well, at least the better in terms of value. I don't know exactly which one's better in terms of actual goodness. He's only a 1700 synchro. That's kind of weird. Not a lot of attack. Doesn't matter as much these days, but you know, it is easy to, to run over him if you need to. Okay, Centurion Chimera might be the first time in this opening. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys enjoying the longer video or not? Don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're not almost at 250k. We're past 250k. I'm used to saying that because we did that for so long. Uh, Mimicool Charm. That is the worst secret rare. So we have officially pulled that. But we are making our way to 300k. So I need to know, what do you guys want to see for 300k? What do you want to see? Because I'll try to make it happen. Something awesome. I need to have suggestions to, you know, I need to prepare because like for 250K, I was like, we are a long way from 250 like the whole time. And then all of a sudden it just ramped up like crazy. And we hit 250 like way sooner than expected. Like I thought we wouldn't have even hit it for like two more months from right now. And we've already hit it. So I don't know what to expect for 300. It might ramp back down and calm down and more normal, but I'm just going to prepare ahead of time. You know, at the current pace, we could be there in a few months, you know, uh, so we'll see. Dominus Impulse, that's a nice secret. There we go, 40 bucks. There's no way these prices hold. Because if they do, I mean, we got to do the math on, I mean, we could do like a spreadsheet here, but like 128 times 2.4, that's your average. You know, you get uh, 128, that's what, 256, then 0. 0.4 of 130. So like 13 times four is 52. So 256 plus 52, you're at, 309 309 dollars average pull for just the malarkey for all those and then you have the sep deception of sinful spoils uh point four of that 20 percent of 50 is what 20 dollars no 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 40 of 50 is 20 dollars yeah so you'd get 120 of those on average area of the water channel i haven't seen that i don't think we've seen that yet so 120 plus 309 you're basically at 430 bucks just from those two on average. I mean, that is insane without QCRs. Dominus Impulse, you add that in. 40% of 40 is 16. So you got 96 more dollars. So you're basically at $530 for those three cards. I mean, that is kind of crazy value for just pulling those three. And then you add in, I mean, there's a $20, $18 card. Like these prices got to go down. Because otherwise it's like you actually make money opening the case, which is like, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't happen. Like if you made money opening every case and everybody would just open cases, you know, because you make money. So it's going to average out, I think. It's got to. But sometimes there are times where a card is just so good that it just keeps going up because it's performing in the meta and there's a ton of demand for it. And it just works out to where like you paid the pre-release uh, or the pre-order price and then the boxes just get more expensive. I mean, that happens sometimes. So could be one of those sets. I mean, that is always nice for you guys who pre-ordered like I did. And it's pretty rare for us. You know, you, normally we're the people who are get, being told to buy the singles, you know, so. Uh, and almost 90% of the time, that's a good choice. Giant Mimigool, that is a $13 card, so 
one of the worst ones, but still 13 bucks is not not terrible. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be more like a five dollar card when it comes out. But you never know what might happen because look what happened with Meiji. I thought that thing was going to go down right off the bat. And guess what? It hasn't. It hasn't at all. And I probably contributed to it by just posting so many videos of not pulling it. Um, but things can happen. Things can happen. I just, uh, I, I like to caution you guys because uh, if you just believe that everything turns into like Amasia or whatever, 99% of the time it doesn't, you know? So I don't want you guys to go too crazy trying to, you know, overpay for stuff. Usually I would say waiting till the day of release is, is a smart decision for singles at least. For uh, boxes, you never know. It's like if the set's great, it you know, if it's like Infinite Forbidden or even Terminal Revenge, like buying them at that point was actually a good deal. But then, uh, some things it goes, phew, you know, terrible, like Duelist Nexus and all those sets from 2023. So you never really know what to expect, but just I think the safest course of action is ordering your, your singles on Friday when it comes out or Saturday or something like that. Uh, and then for boxes, it's like it's usually pretty safe to do a pre-order if you do it with the right person. That's why I always recommend Sassy Auto. So if you guys haven't ordered from Sassy Auto yet and you want some of this set, use my code and get $15 or not $15. That's what not you get 5% off. So you, it's I think it's. I don't know how much that is, but 5% off of his listing, cases and boxes. Here's the thing about him that you don't really realize. So it's like, you get 5% off, sometimes there is a lower price out there. You know, sometimes there's somebody selling them super, super cheap. You're like, oh yeah, I'm buying those. Why would I buy from somebody else? You know, even if Sassiato, he usually has one of the lowest prices, but even if he doesn't, why would I buy from him? I can get this for $2 cheaper. Let me tell you why. I already saw this in my comments earlier. The set turns out to be great. You've pre-ordered from some guy who's super cheap and you're like, man, I'm getting a case for 650 bucks or some stupidly low price. Well, the set's great. Guess what they do? They cancel your order. They have a super low price. You feel like you're getting a great deal. You Only time you get a great deal is if the set sucks. If the set's good, they just cancel your order and resell it. Well, Sassiato does not do that because Sassiato is legitimate. He has morals, you know, ethics. He is going to follow through with your order, no matter how good the set is. If the set's amazing and like, you know, there's $130 cards in here. Whoa, that's crazy. He could just cancel and open it up and make some money potentially. Not gonna do that. Or he could sell them at a higher price. He doesn't do that. He does not do that, which is another reason I work with Sassy Auto. One, friend's a friend of mine. And the re I don't just have fr random friends, you know. The reason we are friends is because he does business the right way. And because well, he's also a great guy, you know, but that kind of correlates together, you know. So that's why we work together. That is why he is the only person I promote for new TCG product, because I know he's going to follow through. He's going to be legit. And I can talk to him because he's just, you know, I can text him. You know, it's not like some big company or something that you got to like, all right, get to go through to our, our secretary and then it'll we'll put, put a time down to talk. Don't have to do that. I can text him. I can say, hey, what's what's going on? You know, what are we going to do about certain things? So I don't know how I got onto that. I think, oh, because I saw a comment. I saw a comment earlier about somebody getting their order canceled. And I was like, man, that just sucks. So if you don't ever want to deal with that, order from Sassy Auto, get 5% off using my link. It's also an affiliate. So you're supporting the channel. So you're supporting the channel. You're getting 5% off. You're buying from a trusted source. It's a win, win, win for everybody. It's fantastic. Uh, so yes, that is that is what I'm ranting about. I mean, it's a long video, so I got time to rant, but very awesome. So shout out Sassiato once again. He is the man. He is awesome. And uh, we will be getting some cases from him to do the big opening uh, on tomorrow. On tomorrow. It's not actually tomorrow, the day I'm recording this, because, you know, these videos take a while. These hour long videos take a little bit for my editor. So I got to record them earlier for him. But uh, yeah, I've got the hiccups. Hiccups slash burps. I don't know what's happened to me. It's a par probably partially acid reflux, but I have like the hiccup burp that's just always like, you know, it's like attacking your throat. It's not great. It's really terrible. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky. It's kind of annoying. Okay, there is a uh, Centurion. Where are the QCRs, by the way? Okay, I'm starting to get scared. I forgot about QCRs because I was on a Sassy Auto uh, chat. I was chatting about Sassy Auto, but... Uh, guys, we've opened over half the case. There hasn't been a QCR yet. There's only three of them. So it's like they could be at the bottom, but I hate when this happens <laughs> every time. This scares me so much. And it feels like it's always frontline cases. Like it's like it can't be my case. It's got to be somebody else's case. Then I just feel guilty when we don't pull the ratio, you know? OK, come on. Why is this happening? Let me go fairy, please. And also, if you are local or somewhat close to uh, Clarksville or Tennessee, 
and you haven't checked out Frontline, you should go check them out because they are a great store. And they, they do a bunch of tournaments as well, too. So I obviously not a big tournament guy because I don't do a lot of tournaments. I don't really play that much, though. I am. I am playing today. The time you're seeing this, I'll be playing Master Duel on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Ruxin34. I'll be playing Master Duel and we will be uh, uh, doing a little bit of ladder, like current ladder, like meta, you know? So uh, I don't really have current meta decks right now, so we're probably gonna be rocking like Dark Magician to start off, Dark Magician, Alistair, Invoked, whatever. And we'll probably build up, I'm gonna try to build up some uh, UR and SR dust, because I'm completely out thanks to that stupid auction series episode. <laughs> I turned in so, like, whatever you call it, I, I uh, dusted, turned in, it sounds like I'm at going to school or something, but I dusted so many good cards because I needed to get like a hundred ultra rares for that episode. It was that hurt that hurt. That was like hun probably hundreds of dollars worth of URs. Yeah. So uh, I got to build my account back up now. So uh, at least we have Edison cards now. At least I have two uh, freaking what's that called? Glow up bulb. Sure, that'll be useful at some point. Wow. OK, I'm getting a little nervous now. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I don't like when there's no QCRs. Well, there was a QCR in the other case, but then they had that backwards flap. You think that matters? Because the flap was like was this way. There was a QCR, but now it's this way. We haven't pulled a QCR. Golly, that's scary. I am scared right now. I am really scared. There's still a ton of packs here, so I don't need to freak out too much, but I, we're definitely over halfway through. Okay, Giant Mimi Ghoul. Now we're pulling some of the lower end secrets, and we're not getting QCR still. I'm really scared right now. He rescue Hedgehog, okay. The Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog, we'll rescue him. Super rare, yay! Come on, give us the shine. Come on, don't do it to us like this. Oh my gosh. Why are you like this? Current sets. You hate me and you won't give us the best. Even though we have gotten Mimigo like three times, uh, which is pretty good. Not Mimigo. Malarkey, Mulcharmy, Fualos. I'm going to say Malarkey too much. People are going to be like, why are you saying it like that? Oh, wait. Oh, that was a secret rare. I just, I couldn't tell. I, it was stuck. Okay, Lacrima. All right, that's not bad. I think we have two or three of those. Pretty solid little card there. The Lacrima. What else can we pull? Rescue Edge Harbor. We're going to pull a few of those. That's for sure. We're definitely going to have to pull that out as our super rare to like put a whatnot as a sign card. Because Rescue Hedgehog is, I mean, I mean, come on. People are going to love that card. That's super cool. Here we go, Lordy Load. Wait a second. Oh, Lordy Load's eight dollars. Okay, I was like, I don't even see this card. Eight dollar card. So it's a third to worst secret. All the spells except for the, the sinful spoils card are terrible. <laughs> the Abyss Sting, Triana, Mimigul Charm, and Primate Lordy Load are all eight dollars or less, which is pretty brutal. Another giant Mimigul. Okay, chill with those. Chill with those. Okay, this case was starting off great, and now with no QCRs and pulling all these crappy secrets, it's turning around in the wrong way. That's all I gotta say. And it's in a bad way. We don't want it to continue to do this. I would love to pull one QCR, you know, just to relax a little bit. La Virtue Dragon, little LeBron action. La Virtue. Okay, okay. Mermail King and Netabus. I feel like there's been a million. Isn't there already a card called Netabus? I don't know. The Regina. Okay, throwing packs, throwing packs. It was trying to get away. The QCR is trying to escape. Incoming machine. What is that? That's the max metal. Okay, max metal morph card. Man, this is crazy. La Virtue Dragon. Where are they? Where are the other quarter centuries? Where's Batman when we need him? He would figure it out where they are. He would let us know. Where's Christian Bale at? You guys, by the way, it's a long video. If you guys have made it this far into the video, because like, I mean, this I'm at 39 minutes. This will be short. It'll be a little earlier for you guys because there's edits. Uh, if you guys have made it this far, you are true fans of the channel. And uh, because you're a true fan of the channel, we have to do a secret code as usual. And we're going to do something that references the Bikino Moth mat. Let's see. There's a uh, Metal Illusionist. Let's do our code of... Let's do a special secret comment called Sunset of the Pequeno in the comments. And if you see anybody else doing that, you know they are also a true fan. If you, you know, see people commenting, there's nothing about Sunset of the Pequeno, you can be like, hmm, I don't know about you. Are you a real fan? Did you watch to the 30 minute mark? Well, that's what you can do. You can, you can judge them silently. Like, hmm, I don't know about this. I don't know about you guys. I don't know. You guys are just... You guys just comment at the beginning of the video. It didn't even bother to see the sunset of the Pequeno. 
<laughs> so all right so do the secret code guys I, I am actually legitimately worried we have not pulled a single quarter century and we've opened like probably 75 percent of the case this is not good this is like bad bad this is really bad okay bad 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 will you please give us something good primate in Imperial Dragon. Wait, have we not pulled that yet? That's the one we pulled in QCR the other day when I was completely confused. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Okay, so uh, I think that was our first time pulling that Ultra. Maybe that means all the QCRs are down here with it too. Maybe that's what that means. Bean Smith. Agnumde. 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 Mimical Charm. Crap. <laughs> no more Mimical Charm, please. Where are they? Where are the other drugs going? That's what I want to know. Hey, there's another one, the Imperial Dragon. I guess they are all at the bottom. Yeah, there are 14 Ultra Rares, so that's kind of insane. So you get 448 divided by 14, so you get 3 point something. 14 times 3 is 42, so you get not even 3.5, so it's like 3.4 something. Dang, that's kind of rough. So you get 2.4 and 3.4, so they are a little bit rarer than Secrets, but... You're not going to get a ton of them. I guess you will get a play set, though, which is good if you're, you know, that's your goal. Get play sets of the cards. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, QCR, please. Please, please give us the QCR. Right now we are... Oh, thank you. Oh, this has got to be a terrible one. <laughs> okay. It's the load. Okay, yeah, this one cannot be good because this is a bad secret rare. Oh, uh, let me see if I can find it. Right now it's 40 bucks, but that means it's, I mean, it's going to be cheap. This card is like a third of the, the Mokarmi card, which is pretty, pretty insane. Not a good one, but at least we got a QCR. Okay, so I have hope the rest of the way we'll get the other two. And maybe we'll get a little luckier. Maybe we'll get that uh, Mokarmi. What's number two QCR? The Lacrima Crimson Tears is the second QCR. Dominus Impulse. Azamina, Mo Regina, those are all over 100. Primate, Imperial as well. Okay. Azamina has a lot of QCRs, or a couple of them at least. Looks like the, uh, is the Sinful Spoils card not in QCR? Or maybe it's just not like listed on here yet. Heart of the Blue Eyes, what's that going for? 80 bucks right now. 80 bucks, let's go. That's not bad for Blue Eyes. I mean, it's not really Blue Eyes. We've already discussed that. All right, so let's keep it going. Keep our hopes up. Oh, this is the terrible one, isn't it? I don't think we've pulled this card yet. I think this is the first time we've pulled this. They have the wrong picture on there. I knew that was the super rare. Okay, the they have this pictured as the Abyss Sting Triana on uh, TCG Player. Somebody screwed up on TCG Player. Because I was like, it's a spell card. But this is the first time we pulled this. This is a $6 secret, so it's really bad. So hopefully we don't pull any more of those. We were getting lucky to not to have pulled them yet. But yeah, somebody on TCG put the wrong picture. Interesting. That doesn't happen often. Oh, oh that's like four Mimi Ghoul Charm. No, we were doing so good. That was a million Mimi Ghoul Charm. Dad, gum, man, that's averaging out that mal malarkey, even though it's still it's still a pretty good average at 60 something bucks with that $5. So 129 plus 588, I mean, you're basically at uh, 135. Oh, nice, Sinful Spoils number three, good. I did hear actually, you know, I'm actually gonna check this. It feels like we are pulling a lot of secrets. Somebody was saying there were errors where you were getting three secret rares. Three secrets and a, uh, and a QCR in a box sometimes. So I kind of want to count them up and see how many we get and see if we get like 24 or if we get more than that. Because we are getting a lot of secrets, it feels like. So maybe there is an error where you're getting uh, multiple or like extra secrets, which would be pretty cool. Actually, that would lower the prices as well. Should be good for people buying. OK, I just counted the secrets. We have 22, so we don't have over ratio, which would be 24 yet. We'll see. OK, we have 23 now. That's our second Dominus Impulse. We have like three with, well, before that, we had three with only one secret rare copy, but now we have two of the Dom Simples, but okay, another secret. So we now have 24. So if we get any more than this, it's over ratio. Those were two of the ones we only had one of. So if we get any more secrets, then we are over ratio and we got more than we were supposed to get, which would be really interesting. Well, maybe that's just it. Maybe that's just all we got. So uh, very, I, we actually had not gotten three of the Mimical Charm. We got, or four, we got three. So we got three of those, three full wallows, three deceptions, simple spoils. So we got the worst one three times. We got the best two three times. So it kind of averaged to still be really good. But if we'd gotten those three and then gotten like, let's say just an average one, like a Fire King three times, 
That case would have been insane, but you know, it doesn't really make a massive difference when you get the top two cards three times. Pretty good, pretty good. The problem is the QCRs, if we only get one, that's really bad. It's really bad. I'm hoping they're here at the bottom, you know, bottom of the of the pack. We'll get like, you know, we'll get the top QCRs as well. That could be really cool. If we pull Heart of the Blue Eyes, it'd be kind of funny right off the bat. Because then it'd be like, well, what do we do tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll go for, if we pull Heart of the Blue Eyes, we're going for the $500 card. That'll be the second option. But I also do want the Heart of the Blue Eyes for myself because this is not mine. Because that Heart of the Blue Eyes PSA card would be sweet. I mean, a PSA 10 of that would be really, really sick. So I'd be really excited about that. Let's see if we can, oh my gosh. I mean, I feel great about this case minus the QCRs. We've only gotten one. It feels like that should be happening again soon. Like at some point. Nishi. If we get any more secrets, it's a big W too, because, uh, you know, they're extra. Regina. Come on. I'm not feeling too good about this. We are really low on packs. I mean, we're like at two boxes left or something. Like, I mean, I mean, number of packs, because these are all from different boxes, but which means technically that like any of them could have it, right? Any of them could have the QCR, so it doesn't change too much uh, technically, because, you know, we just don't pull it till the end. That can happen, which is what I hope is happening and not some sort of, you know, g crazy screw over we have going on here. Let's go. OK, another water channel. I haven't seen many of those. I feel like I feel like we've only pulled two, maybe three. Three is, I mean, it's slightly, but barely below ratio anyway, so I guess it's not that crazy. This is nuts. This is nuts. Where are the key? How do we only have one? This happened last time, didn't it? Wasn't it with Terminal Revenge when we pulled the Phantom? How does this keep happening? That's all we have left. Are there two QCRs in here? Oh. Why does this happen every time we do a case opening for Frontline? It, before we were pulling all the good cards and we got like extra QCRs. This is like two or three times now. I think it's three times. Okay, thank goodness. The ultimate dragon of pride and soul. I never pulled this. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. The ultimate dragon of pride and soul. This is the second version, right? We never pulled this out of infinite forbidden. Yes, that is so sick. Oh, that is so cool. I don't think it's going to be a big money card, but it is really, I mean, that artwork is sick. There we go. Oh, that's a sick one to pull. I never pulled this out of Infinite Forbidden. We, we opened tons of cases of that, never pulled it. This one's only like 60 bucks, so it's not like crazy or anything. It's definitely better than the $40 one, though. I mean, that is really awesome artwork. That is so cool. I love that card. I love that card. I want to pull one of those for myself at some point. Okay, I have a little bit of hope now that the last one's in here. Please give us three. I'll feel so good about this case if we get three. I'll feel fantastic about it if we get three QCRs. Come on, baby. The Dragon of Pride and Soul, that's pretty sick. So $40 QCR, $60 QCR, not huge. I mean, those two add up to less than, you know, our malarkey guy. But uh, you know what? That's okay. We got two QCRs. Let's see if we can get a third one. Let's see if we can get a good one to end it off. Even if it's three bad ones, at least we got three if that happens. We're down to less than a box left, though, so I'm getting a little nervous. Oh, this is it. This is down to the end. Pequeno Moth, send us some luck. If you guys haven't gotten your Pequeno Moth mat, go check out Ruxin34.com because Pequeno Moth mat will only be available until the end of October. So look, guys, I mean, that's 20 days to three weeks left. That's it. It's gone after that forever. It will never. I mean, you'll be able to see it on the channel and stuff, but it will not be for sale anymore unless it's being like resold or something because I'm not going to be selling them anymore. I will have a couple on whatnot as well at some point whenever they, they get to me. So there will be some like I think it's like 25 will be sold on whatnot. And then the rest will be uh, on until the end of the month. That's it. And that is it. They are gone forever. So get your mat while you can. A lot of you guys have picked it up already. And FYI, if you are buying internationally, if you bought it and it charges you international shipping because of the setup I have for these mats, I can get free shipping for the international people. So I'm going to, you'll be charged, but I refund you later. So I went through and refunded a bunch of people who ordered because I didn't realize it was charging you guys uh, just because of how the setup on the website is. So I went back and refunded your, your shipping. So if you are like, is that's deterring you? And you're like, ah, I don't really want to pay like, 20 bucks to get it shipped or whatever. I'm going to go back and refund that because if I turn it off, then all my orders go off. It's a little bit of a weird situation. I don't know if there's a way to put special shipping on. Probably is, but I haven't figured it out where it's like one item has free shipping. I don't know. I got to figure that out. You got to figure that out. I'm still learning with the website, but 
Go check it out, Ruxin34.com. We got we got mats with zones and no zones. I have the no zones, but uh, there is also the zone option as well. Okay. This is it, guys. This is it. Come on. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. It's been a great case. Come on, just end it with another another QCR. Okay, as I mean, that's our first pull in a lot. Besides the QCR, like we've had like nothing. We went those secrets and then nothing since. Hallowed Azamina. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs. Yeah, top bottom last ten. Wouldn't be the first time we've had a case open and we pulled something crazy at the end. So let's see if we can do that again. Because then everybody's happy. You know, we get a better pull. We get three QCRs. Everybody likes three QCRs, right? Everybody likes three QCRs. I kind of hate the three because it felt like with four and like collector rares, besides when they just gave you zero, um, it was always four. Like there wasn't much range to it. It felt like five packs left. You've got to be kidding me. Four packs left, please. Ah, why is it doing this to us? Come on, please. Shiny area of the water channeler. Why? I have no, I have a bad feeling, guys. Send us the luck right now. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Send him some luck in the comments right now because two QCRs. I mean, come on. Luckily, I mean, three of the uh, the malarkey is going to make up for it. It does make up for most of the QCRs, but last pack, please. Come on, please. Let's do this to us. Come on, Aqua Jet Surface. Arm Rebellion. Xyz. Come on. No, not again. Konami, please stop doing this. Why are there cases with only two QCRs in them? Another reason it's so hard to get Magia is that the calculations are off. They're all based on three QCRs a case. And guess what? Some of the cases don't have three. Oh my gosh, that's frustrating. That's super frustrating. It was a great case. If I just had three QCRs in here, it would be really amazing. And we'd just be pumped. But the two QCRs just makes that bad feeling in your mouth. It's like, oh, that sucks. But once again, shout out to Frontline for providing these cards to be opened up. And uh, maybe next time we'll have three QCRs. Or four. Maybe we get lucky and get four. And don't miss the live stream on YouTube, guys. We'll be opening a lot more cases. Hopefully, we get normal ratios there as well. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Ernesto Diana, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Hextic, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.